Hola everybody. Um so I hope you guys enjoyed the video of my uh day at the track with my uh, friends and family. I sure definitely had a blast. Um so I drove the car to work on Monday, yesterday, today's Tuesday, and uh the car feels pretty solid other than the crazy steering all over the fucking road when I'm making a pool or whatever. But um aside from that it drove cherry um even through the rains with no wipers, but I did if you follow me on Instagram, I did reinstall my wipers and the motor so I can drive in the rain now. Um, I just need a new climate control for my heater system so I at least have some heater in the car. Um, thank you to, uh, I think it was Jesus. He sent me one right here that he had with, with um, it has the, uh, the plate on it already. But when, they, uh, when it arrived to me and I took it out of the package, it, it literally just fell apart. So I'm not going to be using that one. The one that's originally in my CRX is split in half. So you can see I don't even have one in its current position. I mean, you, you probably noticed it when uh, uh, in the last video down it. So yeah, um, I went to NorCal yesterday to go pick up some uh, suspension components so I can further dial my uh, suspension for my better 60 foot. And uh, Mike pointed out that uh, that there's a crack on my manifold. I don't know if you can see it. Right, right there. You see that? So this manifold is a JDL Auto Design manifold, and I've had it since 2000 and I think 2012. And it, it um was ran in my uh, sedan, and then it ran in my wagon, and then it uh, cracked all four runners um, on the, the flange to the head so JDL contacted me told me to send it out to them and I did they repaired it and uh, they did all four new runners new flange and all of that and um, I received it back free of charge from them but they told me that if anything happens after the the reweld that they did uh, that I'd have to pay for it and I guess that's just how it works so the manifold was put into the CRX before I cracked it in 2015 and then pulled it back off. So in 2015, it probably only had about 100 miles on it before it cracked. Um, so now it's in this car with a new setup and probably only has about 200 miles on it. So we're about 300 miles and then there's a new crack right there on that runner. And that blows. So one out, what I'm going to probably be doing right now is pulling it out since I now have a TIG welder and I'm pretty confident I can weld thick metal such as the 304 stainless steel for the runners or 304 or whatever the fuck that is um, so I'm gonna pull that off and then I'm gonna attempt to weld it also for the turbo flange so what I'm gonna probably do is weld that hole drill it out tap it for a 12 mil since that's the only time cert that I have and then uh, put a 12 in there. So I at least have four bolts instead of three, three and a half. Hey. So no idea how long that uh, time lap was because I kind of forgot it was on. But um, so here we got the fucking turbo manifold off. Uh, so far it's looking good. A little bit of leak. I'm more than certain that it's coming from either the valve cover gasket or the cam seals because it's pretty wet right here. But I do have some brand new cam uh, seals I'll probably install when I'm not lazy. Um, but definitely though, manifold is off and uh, give you a better look in the crack so as you can see it's a pretty good about maybe I don't know 
two inches, one and a half inches. But uh, it's definitely a crack. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start cleaning all that out. Um, inspect it for further cracks, if there are any. Um, but definitely that is the second crack on this goddamn manifold. And uh, I'm actually tired of stuff cracking because, you know, previously I did have a crack block. But um, this one's good, that one's not. And I'm gonna prep it now to get it ready to weld. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to put it back in tonight, but at least get that done because uh, this whole week is going to be sunny. Do some pulls. So I only got one shot to do this. Um, do some practice passes right here. This is six mil. I don't know how thick this runner is, but it's pretty damn thick. So I got the setting on 100, um, 20 CFH. And I'm, I'm doing these right here. I'm not getting the color like you see here, but that's definitely penetrated. Um, I'm gonna do a couple more passes before I uh, hit this runner, but I'll be overall happy with that. That'll definitely keep this from spreading, and then I'm gonna be making braces on the bottom as well to support this manifold, so it's not just supported off the flange and causing these cracks. But fuck it, something Hayden would say, fuck it. <laughs> So I got the uh, top mount mounted on the motor on the stand where the ram horn was sitting on. Because what I'm going to do now is probably going to make some like small little brackets here and there. Possibly this one right here at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. Possibly using this hole right here and making like a support or something. So that way it's supported down here and you know it, the, the flange is not stressed off by the runners and the turbo everything sitting on here just supported by the flange itself that's why they start cracking after all the vibration and everything it starts to stress these cracks out um my welding i mean it could be better but looks good enough it'll do the job um but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start brainstorming a flange or something right here bolted down to this uh, 14 mil on the block which used to be the AC bracket and then once I get that all welded up and I'm not sure if I want to put a nut on here and then bolt it the bolt bracket here to there or weld it straight here and then it goes straight to the hole um, I'm not sure yet but like I said I'm brainstorm it real quick and if I can holy fuck me dude look at this look at this giant ass fucking crack all the way across where else am I having cracks from? Fuck it. So I said fuck it. I'm just going to weld this shit up too. Um, I pulled it off the uh, waste gate. Scotch bright it. Um, I drilled two holes at the end of uh, each side of the crack. So it'll prevent it from you know, expanding its crack. But I drilled it out. Scotch bright. Um, acetone wipe. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take it. Fuck it. It's not like I've never lost one before. All right, so it's about 5.30 right now. And I am continuing the uh, manifold repair today. I already made this dumbass looking 90 degree bracket right here that I welded to uh, the bottom of the runner to support hold it up, which uses this hole right here and I had to cut it short last night because I was supposed to cut this inch off right here but it was too uh, too late to use the grinder so and it was cold so um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, mount that manifold back up on the motor here measure that cut it make sure the hole is big enough to put the bolt back in and then I'm gonna have to make a uh, some type of gusset right here so this doesn't flex if this was to come down. So again, um, support the manifold, reinstall everything back into the car. It's gonna be sunny these, these uh, it's gonna be sunny these next two days, Thursday, Friday. And I wanna drive the car, so let's go ahead and continue to repair and install it.
So there's a little 90 there that's going to support the runner from bowing down. So that's in place. Um, I'm going to put a gusset somewhere here so that way this doesn't flex. Obviously, if I was able to bend this by hand, I'm sure the weight of this would be able to bend it. Um, for some reason, this is warm, but nothing else is. But yeah, gusset and probably fill this hole up right here. And then I'm gonna time insert it with a 12 mil, just so I can have a fourth bolt in here rather than counting on three. I don't know where I'm recording, but you can see how it's all, you know, residue right there. So it's possibly that it's escaping on this end. I don't use none of them gasket bullshit metal to metal and it's been working fine a boozy ass fucking gusset that'll do definitely though um i'm not gonna weld that hole that's on the the flange just because i don't want to warp the flange and uh cause uh uneven surface so i'm just gonna go ahead and install this back into the car there's a mustang or domestic or some shit down the street revving his fucking car so that only urges me to put the shit back together, at least turn it on tonight. There are some private runs. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go because it starts at 11 and I wake up at three to go to work. Unless I go to sleep now after I finish this, get some rest, go to run, do some runs, come home and go straight to work. I don't know. We'll see, but let's get this manifold back into the car and here, you can hear him revving again. Oh, well. Don't mind if I do.